it is obvious that misunderstanding is a part of this world. Not only that, but many of you and the rest of mankind are too easily offended. It's quite pathetic. I didn't make this channel because the idea was rooted in a selfish ambition. I'm carrying out someone else's intentions. I don't need to fight for the truth to be told. All that must be revealed will be revealed in due season. A battle has begun many eons ago, and a battle will come to an end not too many seasons from now. Some of you have been giving me requests for other demons, angels, and people that you wish for me to preach about on this channel, and I will. You all need to be patient. I'm still in college and I'm still expected to fulfill those obligations before I give my energy to this YouTube channel. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's begin. In the lesser key of Solomon, there is another demon who is overlooked and not very popular among mankind. He appears as the third demon in the book, and he rules over 26 legions of demonic spirits. For one to be a true demonologist, Learning about these demonic spirits by simply reading about them on the internet isn't sufficient. You either need to hear the testimony of the spirit be preached by one who has had traffic with those spirits, or you need to take a stand and do it yourself. It is widely regarded that the Prince Visago is one who is of a goodly nature. This is false. I'll say this until you all have a clear understanding of what a demon is. He is just simply well-mannered and very poised. His nature is not good. Let me dive deeper. Prince Visago was awarded a principality by the ruler of darkness, Satan. Unlike Prince Belphegor, it isn't known to me or other human teachers in the Dark Kingdom as to why Prince Visago was awarded a principality, but Satan must have deemed him to be suitable enough to receive one. Prince Visago is a demon who possesses supernatural power that isn't usually seen by many of mankind. I would be operating in the spirit of air by giving you all a clear determination of where his power level stops. What I can say, though, is that due to his reserved nature and his mental reservations concerning mankind, he isn't too quick to pour his power into many of mankind. That being said, make no mistake. The demon prince is able to make war with many of the demons who reside in hell with him and also isn't afraid to put up a fight against angels who serve the ruler of heaven. Prince Visago is depicted as a man who rides a demonic crocodile while also sometimes carrying a demonic fowl on either of his hands. Some of you have decided to entertain every thought that is put into you by this fallen world, yet many of you deny the existence of hell. Hell is growing larger every single day, but because of your denial, you've denied yourself spiritual information that could aid you before death. The kingdom of hell isn't just populated by souls that loved evil on earth or by demonic spirits. It is also populated by animals you see here on earth. Have you all not been paying attention? Some of the demons I have preached to you all about are also ones who look like animals. You all think that those demonic spirits that look like animals are just a representation of what attributes those animals carry, like King Bell. Wrong. That's exactly how they look. Demons can shapeshift, some of you already knew this, but they all have an original form. The one who keeps his original spiritual form hidden from mankind is Satan. Although many have testified that Satan loves to appear as an extremely handsome man when he does appear before his human servants on earth. Prince Visago's supernatural abilities are little known to mankind, as of hell, as of heaven, and God himself as well. He is described as being, quote, the Prince of Prophecy, but this title is inaccurate. All demons can give mankind the ability to see what is up ahead by way of either divination or simply them telling you about a future event themselves. He can uncover hidden treasures and can tell you of all things in the past and many things that lie up ahead, though not everything. When you hear the prince speak, you will notice right away that he is very easy to talk to. The sound of the demon prince's speech is a human male voice, not deep, not high, just a normal human male's voice. He is able to enrich a human and able to uncover many secrets that many humans wish to know. 
He doesn't complain about the fall from heaven and he loves darkness. He embraces it. Many of you who are not living holy also love the darkness that is inside of you. You may deny it or hate me for saying this, but your hatred doesn't matter to me. We all will battle darkness until the day we die, but some of you and many of mankind have chosen not to reject the darkness, but embrace it. You see, people, the darkness is the unknown. Reacting out of fear reverts you back to what you know. What you know is what you do. You need to know that choosing to respond and react out of fear is a choice. This is why a decision needs to be made, to cut off and sever what pulled you into opposite directions. But there is no must, only choices. Choose, and reality will differ for you. Refusing everything temporarily stays the same. As everything moves, everything changes. But if you reject the idea of not wanting to embrace your inner darkness and step out into the unknown, then some of you would be deemed wise. After all, as the saying goes, quote, kill the devil that is living inside of you before the devil that is inside of you kills you. Beware of Prince Visago if you ever decide to summon him. He may be prudent and poised, but he and his legions will not hesitate to cause you to slip off into eternity to join him forever. Just saying I'm the man, the facts bro, a lot of haters, tell me where they